Hi everyone, welcome to the first webinar of the latest new features of TimeTrack. I'm Carmel Nash, one of the Exasoft consultants in the team here at Focus Technology. I have been using TimeTrack for the last nine years, the first six years as an end user, like many of you here today. If you have any questions from the short session today, please feel free to email them through after this webinar. Today we're going to cover the following. Time track knowledge base, where we've been using this in our day-to-day -day work at Focus Technology to add troubleshooting tips and articles or posting our questions to other consultants for their answers or comments. In addition to TimeTrack Mobile checklists, we'll have the new feature of TimeTrack Mobile conditional checklists, so I'll explain in a bit more detail. We'll also look at posting to EXO within TimeTrack Professional, where I know a lot of people are looking forward to this feature, as many of you have requested it. Plus, we're all placed here in the office to finally have a new contact report writer to customise and create new reports. Plus I have a couple of other tips to make things easier that we'll look at towards the end of the session. First we'll discuss the time track knowledge base that is available in time track professional and time track mobile. The knowledge base can be set up to have multiple knowledge bases that can operate the same way or be set up for questions only, articles only, or both options at the same time. There are many filtering options available such as favourites, answers that only include questions that have accepted answers, unanswered only include questions that don't have accepted answers yet, Articles only, questions only, plus categories that are named to suit your business requirements. It also has a search function for a keyword or sentence or client name. Subscriptions can be set up by the user by categories with alerts or emails for the new questions and or the articles posted. The time track knowledge base is a separate module and licensed separately. Please just contact us for the licensing information. As the knowledge base is also available in time track mobile, it is a fantastic tool for users off site to have access to information specific to hazards, information relating to a particular job site, site plans and diagrams, photos and attachments, parts information and troubleshooting tips. Articles and questions in the knowledge base have a related tab with options to link current articles back to another article, client, contact, job or task. On our demo website, in the Knowledge Base and Time Track Professional, the Knowledge Base is located at the top of the screen. This particular demo has two Knowledge Bases, renamed Client Hazard Register and Parts and Diagrams. For the next slide, I have clicked on our Parts and Diagrams Knowledge Base. We have the filters on the right hand side. The envelope at the top of the filters is where the location where you can set up the subscriptions. The question mark where you would post a new question and the eye for information where you can post a new article. In the next slide I have clicked on the article called SPX Diagram and Parts. It's showing on the summary it has four user comments. In here we have a diagram of a super pump. On the right hand side, this article is related to a client called Daniel Payne Limited. 
This knowledge base article has two PDF attachments at the bottom of the screen and further below the user comments. In the next slide, I have clicked on the attachment and we'll see a PDF parts list. Knowledge base uses are endless and this concludes the brief run through of knowledge base. Next we'll move on to conditional checklists. First a bit of background about checklists available in TimeTrack Mobile for those who have never used checklists previously. Checklists are a great tool for identifying and recording hazards on a worksite to comply with health and safety regulations, performing a job safety assessment or recording a customer or technician's signature to complete a job. Checklists are created to eliminate paperwork and some of the filing back in the office, as Time Pack Mobile does this for you. The checklist attachments are available against the job or sent to the email address of your choice. Checklists are designed to make it easy for those Time Track Mobile users out in the field or in the workshop to fill in or pick up a worksheet that they need to do to work through to complete the job. On completion of a Time Track Mobile checklist, checklists can be fired off an event in Time Track Mobile. Also on completion of the checklist, the checklist can automatically be emailed to the client and a job contact and a task contact or the job manager will set up for a free type email address entered on the checklist automatically emailed to you back in the office. Completed checklists can be viewed here in Time Track Professional on the attachments tab in the job screen and here in Time Track Mobile details screen. The new feature conditional checklist allow a user to answer yes or no to a question and depending on the answer, conditional options for a checklist can hide or add further questions depending on how the previous question was answered. Plus conditional checklists eliminate the time track mobile user having to scroll through irrelevant questions when they are out on site. Next we'll see how to briefly set up a conditional checklist in Time Track Administrative Console. We have gone into the menu option on the left called Checklists. In the main body is the checklist follow up work. And I'm going to click on the follow up work conditional checklist. And now the item type field from the drop down list is selected as conditional checklist with the data source which are the answers to the question as yes, no or not applicable. I'm going to change the screen to the demo website for Time Track Mobile to view and run through the conditional checklist. First I'm going to check into the next field appointment. Now I've performed the work on site and will check out of the appointment. This particular checklist is fired off from the checkout button. In the follow up work conditional checklist, I'm going to press the no option and I can go straight to the checkout that will stop the clock this time entry. Instead of checking out now, I'm going to switch to selecting yes instead of no and new questions will appear on this conditional checklist. This is a very simple conditional checklist that can get much more complicated and we can help you out here. And this concludes the overview of the new feature, Conditional Checklists.
Next, we'll take a look at another new feature where you can post to Excel within Time Track Professional on the calendar. There are a couple of setup options where you can post the time entries by selecting the debtor credit status, change the job status after posting in the post function, and limit posting by only users in a particular time track profile. When posting an entry from the calendar, all time and materials from all users for this job are posted from time track at the same time as this entry in the calendar. The new post options are changed in the time track professional console within the upgraded version. In the profile menu, click into the profile and on the post and invoice tab and change the options to suit your particular requirement or we can set this up for you. Here we have a view of how to post a job from the time track professional calendar by right clicking on the time entry and we have a new menu option called post job. After post job is selected a new box pops up. There are a couple of report options at this stage called Job Filling Summary and Detailed Job Report. You can click into easily from this screen. Plus we have also a summary of the time and disbursement for all time entries for all users for this task due to be posted to EXO. On the bottom left, there is the field to change the job status and job costing to another status on posting if you have this option set up in the time track administrator console. I'm now going to click post. The time entry has been posted to job costing. You can tell the time entry has been posted as the top left corner of the time entry in the calendar now has a tick and by clicking into the time entry it will have a message that this time entry has already been posted and cannot be edited. A similar message can also be viewed in the time entry in Contract Mobile. We also have the option of posting to EXO from the timesheet verification by job screen. Just drill into the job and verify the entry as per usual and post job. By posting the time entry in the calendar or from the timesheet verification by job method eliminates having to post to EXO in bulk daily, weekly or monthly. Instead, time entries can be posted by time entry as soon as the time entry has been entered in Time Track Professional or Mobile. We do recommend that you do a monthly post in the usual way to see if you have missed posting any entries from the calendar if using this method. We hope you like this new posting to EXO feature. Next we'll take a look at the Time Track Report Writer. We have been busy here at Focus Technology creating many new reports using this new module. This is a separate and free module at no extra charge. It is designed for end users with existing database knowledge or we can create the reports for you. The reports can be created from both the Time Track and EXO databases. Once the reports are created and added to the menu, the reports are viewed from Time Track Professional Select Report option on the top right. There are many Time Track Report Writer tools such as Reports with Parameters parameters being able to choose within a date range option, for example. Sub-reports. Plus reports can include pictures, logos, 
barcodes. There is an option for charts and pivot grids. The table of contents for a multi-page report, plus many more features we haven't listed today. Next I'll show you an example of a simple report. Here is a view of the time track report design writer in design view. This particular report is going to be a simple view of the setup of time track users from the time track database. To view the preview of the report, I've just clicked on the print preview tab at the top left of the screen and I'll show you a preview on the next slide. Here we have the print preview of this simple report. The many features and how to actually use the time track report writer could be discussed at length. But I haven't gone into detail here in this session as the report writer is ready to use once the site is upgraded and we can work on creating those additional reports. If you are interested in creating reports yourself, we may possibly host a course to show you how to achieve this if you have enough interest. The only catch though, you need to have already some existing database knowledge to attend this course. Next I have a couple of extra tips following. Do you hover over a calendar time entry? Little tip of you. Which is the extra little box. If you find the tool tip on the calendar gets in your way, you can turn the tool tip off in the calendar settings cog shown by the green arrow. This opens a new window. Simply untip the show tool tip option. This can also speed up your calendar if you have a lot of users added to work groups. Another helpful hint, if you are wondering why there are many different calendar tabs on this demo, you can create additional work group calendar tabs yourself in the same calendar settings cog as previous. Again, just click on the calendar settings cog and select the work group tab. You can create a user view by work week or a two or three day view and include the appointments coming up as well as the time entries. Or you can create an client view under the drop down field resource type, choose the option client instead of users. Next add in the clients or users from the left hand side to the right, select the tab colour and save and your new tab will appear on the calendar view. This is a great option to add users in particular profiles, a division or group by users at different job sites, regions or states. Another new tip, or it's actually another new feature, we'll look at pop-up grids. These are available on clients, jobs and contacts. In the next slide, we're going to take a look at the new jobs grid. On the top right hand side, you can open jobs in a new window and move it to an additional monitor for easy viewing. Wish. You can right click on the header and select column chooser to add in a new column such as company name, customer order number, delivery delivery addresses, categories, start and due dates, for example. Again, you can right click on the header and choose filter builder to exclude or only include any results 
using the filters for the grid and your mini filter option to take a look at. The grid can also be grouped by any column existing in the grid. From the jobs grid, you can drill into a job. So we've drilled into a job to view the job details. You can also add a job from a template by clicking where the green arrow is pointing. Here is a view on the next slide of a template to create a new job. The new job just needs a title added and you can either save or press save and create task and the new task window will follow. If you would like us to set up a template or two, we would be happy to do so. We hope you like the new grids. As always, the time track help files can be found here. If you would like a list of the new features, please just let us know. The big question, this time track version will be available for general release in a few weeks. Please feel free to register your interest and we'll contact you when it is available and book in time for your update. Thank you for your interest today. I hope you found this helpful. Please just pick us an email with any questions or comments about what you have viewed here today.